got him. We got him, finally. So, uh, where are we going now? We are going to a, uh, a surprise is where we're going. Let's just say that at this place, he can stand there. <laughs> He's never coming back home. Colt, you got the sliding gate? Yeah, I got it. I'm ready. We got a little drive across town, but uh, not too far. Hope you're ready. All right, now, Big Joe's gone for good. I mean, whose ranch is this? Where'd you leave him at? <laughs> yeah, well, surprise, guys. So real quick, you're saying this is only Big Joe's second time? This is Big Joe's second time to ever be in a trailer that I know of. One is when we picked him up in Enid. I took an hour and a half and uh, of him getting in a trailer, and uh, that was a debacle. We got him in a trailer. We brought him home with Kit and Flo, got him, them here, um, and this is the second time ever. So you can see Big Joe does not like getting in a trailer. So um, let's just say that at this place, he can stand there, and uh, that's where he's going to be for a long time. So <laughs> we'll take him there and he's never coming back home. He's never coming back home. Well, we're here. Big Joe's never going back. That's right. We're uh, about to let this beast go. So and he's staying here. I will. Oh, I'll stand here. Yeah. Yeah, she Ready? Brooks, are you ready? Hey, babe. Mwah. All right, let's let the big fella out. Does anybody want a shot of him right here? <laughs> Where's my phone, babe? I got it. Thank you. Is it filming? Right. Baker, I think we can load 32 out in the pasture. Yeah, she was like ready to just hop on the truck. Oh, she ready to go? Yeah. 
seriously. I think she'll load out. Well, the you, we can load them all out there if you want. I'm sure Cole and them would like that. Uh, you got that? Yeah. Okay, he's coming out. All right, Chandler. exchange here. All right, now, Big Joe's gone for good. I mean, whose ranch is this? Where'd you leave him at? <laughs> yeah, well, surprise, guys. Here, y'all come over here. This is, uh, this is our new place. This is our, uh, our new ranch. And uh, Big Joe's starting it off with us, so come here. Yeah, so uh, I guess we officially don't have a name for it yet, but it's the uh, Cross Timbers Ranch, I, I, I guess. Uh, Bison Ranch, that's it's changed. I <laughs> uh, got a new place. Um, there he goes, he goes to eating grass. Uh, yeah, so uh, this is our new place. We got a uh, it's been a long time and a lot of work, but uh, we started this process in February of this year and we were able to close on it in early October. Yes, we've been hiding it from you. It's been very difficult but um, and a lot of work and we've already been working on it, which we're going to share everything with you of what we've done here so far and um, we've had it for a little over a month now and finally got big joe out here so been a lot of work to get to this point a lot of help from a lot of people and um my wife and i and brooksy are very very blessed and lucky to even have an opportunity to get this property and and um we every time that we pull out here we we uh it, it's still unreal to us i feel like i'm just using somebody's land or renting it or leasing it i don't feel like it's ours um but it's just a big blessing and uh we get to share it with uh brooks and you know someday maybe if another one comes along you know nope marissa's not pregnant a lot of you made those comments uh she's not pregnant uh but this is our surprise. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so uh here's our surprise is right here so actually let me explain a little bit to you big joe is out here you're like who are these bison well uh, I purchased some bison um, right after we bought this property after we closed on this property I purchased these bison I bought uh, what you're gonna hear some of is the Texas 16 I bought 16 bison I got uh, I think I end up getting what seven cows uh, four calves five calves and four bulls yes seven cows five calves <laughs> And four bulls and uh, I've done some selling since then I've done some uh, moving of animals since then but Big Joe's out here with four cows and four calves so that's where these guys came from I'll tell you a little bit more later and bring you on that journey of the Texas 16 and uh, I got a lot to tell you a lot to show you but uh, this is just the beginning right here and it's all gonna start with Big Joe so um, Dunbar is staying at that property. Mom and Kevin's. We're gonna basically uh, we're gonna have two herds now, uh, and we're able to do that with this property. We've got more land, and uh, Marissa, and, uh, Brooks, and I can can share all this together. And um, we got a lot of thinking ahead of us, and a lot of exciting things to do with this property. So, and Kevin's still gonna be a part of it. Kevin actually built a lot of this 
fencing. He helped build the barn a long time ago, um, just through different connections. And uh, we just happened to know the owner and um, had some opportunities, so. All possible through the support of the platform. Your brother-in-law bugged you for years yeah. to get going on this yeah. YouTube journey. Yeah, yeah. I, I definitely need to go back and thank him for sure for kind of kicking me in the in the butt to to do this and share the world of bison with uh, with you guys and with the world. And um, because I did that, this is where we are today. Is we're able to do this. And um, if I didn't. I don't know if we'd have had the opportunity to get this, so um, glad we did get to start the bison deal and share that with all of our followers and uh, just the YouTube world and Facebook world and social media world. And uh, I don't know. So you got a fresh, almost nearly acres. Yes. What's your main goal? What's the next year or two, three look like for the Baker family and Cross Timbers Bison? Well, now we're able to expand. That's the uh, that's the <laughs> that's the fun part of this. Is um, you know we uh, we can grow now, and you guys have known my motto has been for a long time is grow the herd, and our numbers were getting a little a little excessive at the uh, at the original place at Mom and Kevin's place. We uh, we finally were able to do this, and what that means is that we can expand. We've got lots of grass here. We've got a beautiful barn and uh, got a lot of work to do got a lot of brush clearing fence cutting cedar clearing fence building we definitely have a lot of work to do and our hands cut out for us for the next three years but uh this place is set up uh to have a full blown bison operation and um so that's our goal that's what we want to do is is uh, is grow the herd and it starts right here um, with these cows and calves and we're gonna even bring more animals over and and grow this um, operation so it'll be uh, it'll be a lot of work but it's gonna be a lot of fun and uh, I'm sure we'll, we get to share all that with you guys as, as this thing grows so Kevin's trained up in regenerative ag so he's gonna he's gonna help us out with that yeah <laughs> yeah lots of restoration projects but this place has had almost uh, about nine months of rest which is what was very very needed so 